Nigeria has no future with Ahmed Bola Tinibu. Bola Tinibu has been a monopolist. See my market here. As I did outside like this, we they pay. Inside, we they pay. What is the difference between the ordinary thief and the political thief? Number one, the ordinary thief steals your money, your bag, your watch, and your jewelry. Isn't it? But the political thief steals your future, your career, your education, your health, and your business. The hilarious part is that the ordinary thief will choose whom to rob. But you are the one who choose the political thief to rob you. Who is he that has had enough success in life outside of government? A person who can run his life and be successful can run an institution. See, you can lie to everybody, but you cannot lie to yourself. You can lie to everybody, lie, deceive everybody, manipulate, but you know the truth yourself. Whether or not you stand to, 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 to tell yourself the truth today, but you know that the truth within you, the conscience, your spirit, your inner voice is telling the truth. But you have chosen to represent a figure because of everybody and that's when i hear this nonsense talk people people grew in this country because of the monopoly of our system some people are claiming to be the richest men in this country not because they deserve it but because they are perpetually beginning to serve the purpose of, of a corrupt government and that's why they are giving monopolistic uh, 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 access to certain opportunities and certain investment whereas the incumbent government promised us Free access to the use and utilization of our product of our, of, 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 of the, the, the wealth of this country with oil. Whereas NFPC is now going to buy stake in a private refinery. Uh, government has been borrowing. Our chance loot have been returned here and there. Not even a single refinery in this country is working up to 50%. I, I, I was added to a WhatsApp group of an opposition. I'm sitting there waiting. I, I hope they will start to, re, to release information about the election. I'm there. That time we will know. In that, in that WhatsApp group, a communication was done that currently the grassroots of Western Nigeria. The information that they are sharing to them now is that they should not allow a non yoruba man to become president because their agenda is to decentralize the opportunity that Lagos has, like, like the port. You see the information about how illiterate, ignorant Nigerians are running with that information to say a Peter Obi's government will open up ports uh, arrangements in several other locations in this country. And then Lagos will no longer be the glory where everybody comes. The revenue the project they have will no longer come. And that's the information they are sharing now. That is where we are. So people grew in wealth and resources, grew in power, grew in influence because of monopolization, because of, because of manipulation. And we, can, we must tell ourselves the truth. That's what they are, that's what they are selling. More requires. Thank God for the few sensible Nigerians that are realizing that this will not work. Because Kasina has a president who has said that before. Who has checked Kasina? Is Kasina the best state in any, in any way in this country? Does Kasina rate as best in education? Don't deceive yourself. This man, this man is going to have the money to, to empower their, 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 their region. But yet, they choose to deceive us with the information. This man will become governor, will become president if you vote him and see if there will be changes. Sometimes I wish that we can even allow this nonsense to Let's do a rotation of four, four years and let's see what will happen. Let's deceive ourselves. Somebody asked a while ago, even if Yoruba people now decide to cut out and say they want to have a Yoruba nation, would they elect Tunubu as their president? No, they won't. They will look for the most competent. But now, to if it costs on us, they are forcing Tunubu on all of us. I, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying. If Yoruba people, one of you Yoruba land, wants to go out and say you want to have a Yoruba nation, will you elect Tinubu as your best citizen to become your president? You will not. We are deceiving. You want to lay costs on us. What have we done to deserve Tinubu? How does Tinubu serve the interests of this country? Forget about the analysis of his age. He did this with the problem that Buari has put us now, the quagwire, the mess. Does Tinubu have the resources? A man that cannot stand, that cannot hold flag, that cannot communicate, that cannot even communicate in simple and correct English. That do not know that oh god, another crop of old men are coming. Thank you, Dr. Nature. And I want you to watch these videos. There are videos I want you to watch and listen to them. I keep saying, listen to them, go and get your previous show, but don't tell me some of you are writing, oh, hey, get your previous. Show. No, there are still some Nigerians who are still on the fence. So we are doing this to help them. And there are some Nigerians that have been blind, blinded by tribalism and ethnicity and some, some others religion. 
we are going to keep sharing videos like this to them to expand their, their horizon let them see the future because what we are saying this now now as much as remain if every time we elect a president the choice that we are going to push for will be the bane that all of us will focus on in the next four years we'll suffer it together they are accused everywhere there's nothing work there's no sector this country is working the same celebrities now that are standing for Tinubu because they are brother. When the police begin to be, be, when they needed us for, for answers, they didn't, not celebrities that came to solve the problem. It was ordinary Nigerians that went to the street to demand for, for SARS to end, the police brutality to stop. Now they are enjoying fame and figure. Now when the president comes and he can no longer do anything, when the cabal begins to control all the, all the annexes, you are want to vote a man that has control of everything in this country. You see that woman? He said that she pays inside and pays out her book. She still has to take loan to do her business. That's, and that make another the paper. They told him, bless you. You get it? Oh God. We got this one show. We go sell these things. Share this video. Let it get to all of them. Maybe they see what they see. We are begging. Now beg with the bell. Let's vote competency. Let's vote capability. Let's vote capacity. Let's vote character. Goodness. What is the difference between the ordinary thief and a political thief? Number one, the ordinary thief steals your money, your bag, your watch and your jewelry isn't it but the political thief steals your future your career your education your health and your business number two the hilarious part is that the ordinary thief will choose whom to rob but you are the one who choose the political thief to rob you because we choose them we vote them we blindly say we are not blind who is deceiving who the ridiculous part of the whole issue is that we will fight to defend and protect our belongings from the ordinary thief is it not but we fight each other to defend and protect the political thief is that not what we do thugs will be fighting themselves to protect those that are stealing our career stealing our job stealing our health stealing our success what a shame what a travesty calls for us to think and think deep the stage we are in as a country is not a stage where you become an onlooker you have become an onlooker for too long you must get ready to put your hands to the plow and be part of the process it's not just about pvc carry pvc you must be in the kitchen where it is being determined you must be there where the decisions have been made. If we are there in our numbers, they cannot outnumber us. But you leave it aloof. Oh, you no, know, it's too dirty. It's a dirty game. And then the dirty guy is getting to the game of play. And you are there not showing up. And when they begin to make the decisions, you will know whether it's a dirty game or not. The result is always dirty on us. Dirty on your health. Dirty on your business. Dirty on your success and your career. I hope that is tearing up something in you. Here are seven things you should consider to choose the next president of Nigeria. According to Pastor Enenchi of Dunamis Church International, it's a clear choice among Peter Obi, Atiku or Tinumbu. What will your choice be? Watch this video first. Who is he that has had enough success in life outside of government? A person who can run his life and be successful can run an institution. We have many people whose money cannot be traced except to government, except to public office. We don't know anything they bought or sold except that they were in government and then they became rich. Who is it that has traceable record both in public and private life that is that is traceable while well, this is this happened and this happened and that happened who is this that has verifiable records in in our nation today you see somebody a popper today bicycle rider today becomes a politician tomorrow and he has the biggest house in his in, in his village he has not run anything to succeed with it the first thing he wants to run is a whole government and he steals everything 
who is it that has a corruption free record others are corruption in motion mobile corruption corruption walking 